Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with this thing right here, which is of course my huge steam locomotive. I actually really like the way this is thing this thing is looking at the moment, uh, but it needs to be a little bit better. So what I want to do is add some more details to the front. I want to add a whistle so that we can actually uh, toot the whistle on this thing. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, and I also want to sort out what's going down, going on down here. I kind of want to fix this. Uh, I might make it so that there's like one big wheel here or, or maybe an extra little wheel. Uh, we'll have to see. But um, yeah, I think it's running quite well at the moment. Obviously, there is a lot of steam coming back at us. Uh, and there is one more thing that I do want to do. Uh, and that is make the condensers work a little bit better. Because if we have a little look at this at the moment, the condensers really aren't working. So we need to fix that. Hey! Alright, so as you guys can see right here, we are inside the, uh, the locomotive itself. I wanted to see if there was anything going through these, and there is of course nothing going through them. So that is a huge problem. We need to figure out how to make that work, and then actually make it work, and pump the water backwards from there. So that's what we're going to do today. Before we do anything though, let's go ahead and change its color to something else. We're actually going to go with a red one today. I don't know why, but there you go. Uh, a red locomotive. It looks quite cool at the front, but because there's nothing, like no detail for the back, uh, it looks a bit weird. But yeah, we're going to leave it red for now. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and continue. So hopefully this works. With that being said, I've said it again, uh, but with that being said, we're going to go ahead and delete a bunch of this because I don't think it needs to be there. Uh, we're going to do it on both sides, actually. So let me do this, and we will delete it from here all the way backwards to around this point right here. Excellent. If I've deleted any pipes, we do need to sort them out. Actually, I've deleted those. That's a bit annoying. All right, do it on one side, and then it'll be easier on the other side. So delete all of this backwards to there. That's good. In fact, delete that bit too. And then on this side, we're going to delete... Um, all of this from here upwards all the way to there and then we're going to continue it across the top and on the underside all the way past here and then delete all of these guys and there we go oh in fact we can also delete this bit too so that's going to delete all the way down to there excellent nice so we uh we gain a little bit of extra room in here that's good all right so you might be thinking what are you doing uh essentially what i need to do is add another relief valve just like this one that allows the water to go from here straight into this side and straight into the actual uh, condensers. Um, at the moment, the condensers really aren't doing anything, so it's a bit weird. Don't know why they're not doing anything, but they should be. So, yeah. Uh, again, though, what I might do is actually add a pump uh, that allows them both to work a little bit better. So, what we'll do is we'll sort out the front end, uh, and we'll see if this one can get working better. Uh, and then maybe we'll be able to do some better things with this. So, delete that one right there. Essentially, just attach it straight onto this one. We're going to delete that guy for now. That's okay. Uh, and we'll see how this works. So hopefully you guys can see what's going on. I'm assuming you can. We're going to bring this to here. Delete that guy. Go ahead and have one of these on here so it comes down. And we'll actually have a pump straight there. So we'll go with the pump. We'll go with one of these little ones. And we'll put it on there just like so. Excellent. So you might be wondering, what are you doing though? <laughs> um, and you'd be right to ask. Uh, but we're going to try and figure this out together. So, essentially, I wanted that pump there so that we can actually pump things up and into there if we need to. And also, we need to delete this guy right here and allow this thing to actually be accessed by this right here. So, before this release valve, we're going to go and delete this and we're going to put it right there, send it across, attach it onto wherever I've got it already, and that should be excellent. So, from here, straight across to here, there and there, delete this one. Grab ourselves an angled piece, whack it straight onto there, and that is excellent. But that isn't the end of the story, because now we need one of these. So that's going to go there too. Okay, good. So now you might be thinking, well, how are you going to make this work? We need more greater than things. So that's one of the first things we're going to need to do. That's going to go right here. We're then going to get ourselves a number, and that number is going to be like 9, or something like that. So let me go ahead and make this 9. Actually, this should be 8, right? This one should be 8, and then the value that everything else is going up should be 9. So, for the steam to be released out the sides, it is going to be 9. For the steam to be pushed into the condensers, it is going to be 8. That makes sense. So, this goes to there. That's very good. Uh, B is the value to be compared to, which is this one. And A is the value to compare. 
which is the pressure of the boiler. So now that should all work. We're going to go ahead and have this working constantly. So let's do that real quick. Uh, straight to there. And we'll see if this does actually work. They need electricity uh, just to make sure that they do work. And uh, we'll see what happens. Actually, before we do that, let's get ourselves a dial. All right. We're going to go ahead and smash it in here. I, I need to label these a little bit better, but we'll see. So we're going to smash that in there. And then we need the condensers to actually have a fluid volume on uh, both of them. So this one is going to go to here. And the one that we're going to test is... Actually, the other one will do that too. And let's go. All right. This might be weird, but it might work. So we'll see. Okie dokie. So as you guys can see from these two right here, both condensers are actually empty at the moment. But as soon as this gets up to nine, no, up to eight, uh, it should start flowing through the condensers. Uh, which is an interesting idea, so, yeah. But anyway, this has started working, so this has started working too. For some reason, this one is way behind, again. But, uh, it's not too much of an issue right now. I don't think, anyway. Okie dokie! So, I've gone ahead and actually released the, uh, the pressure, so that hopefully these guys get up to, uh, pressure quicker. There you go. So, that one is actually releasing through the, uh, the valve on the outside. It brings it down to nine. This one is actually gonna go through these guys, which it is getting pumped through. Uh, very slowly, but it is actually doing it. So that's kind of interesting, isn't it? It's getting pumped straight through here. It's not getting any higher than like 8.5. So um, I think that works a little bit better. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this. Get it moving. Let's see if any more steam actually flows through this now that that's happening. Um, this does eventually release steam though, so that might be a bit of an issue. But no, it's keeping it quite far down. We've got the extra leaf just in case we need it, but I think it's doing all right. Yeah, good. So, what we're going to have to do is actually do that on the other two as well. Make sure that they do actually use the condensers that we have. Uh, and then we'll send it straight back around, straight through. Hopefully, that'll be fine. Maybe. The other thing that I kind of wanted to do was actually add a, uh, a whistle to this. I don't know where I should be adding the whistle, but I think right here. So, we'll go ahead and get one. We'll make it gold, because I think it'll be cool gold. Uh, and we'll just strap that in there like that. Now, we do need to get this to work, so let's put it... Uh, should we put it that way, or should we put it this way? Probably that way. Uh, we then need to delete this guy right here. Get ourselves an actual block, and put it in here. And then we do need steam to actually be able to get to there. Don't know how that's going to happen, but we need it to happen, so yeah. Anyway, pipe, let's go ahead and whack that onto there, and that should be good. I think that honestly fits. I think it's quite cool there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, attach some steam to that. Unfortunately, there is more things that we have to do with the condensers on the inside. Hopefully you guys are actually able to see what's going on inside of here. What I'm going to do in order to actually allow you guys to see a little bit better is I'm going to go ahead and make the inside a little bit brighter and hopefully that will allow you guys to be able to see. Uh, we're not going to keep it like this, obviously. We're going to return it back to grey eventually, but uh, yeah, we need to go to these things. Uh, we need to attach them all together and make them all work, and then we can go from there. Alright, so yes, we do need to figure out what's going on here. Essentially, oh god, uh, what am I doing? What is going on? We don't need this, uh, that is, I think that's the steam coming out of this. Yes, we don't need a pump there. So we need to actually attach this to there, okay, yeah, which is fine, we could totally do that. But then we need to attach uh, the extra line that we have. Uh, onto this, but we also need an actual pump on this as well. So there's quite a lot going on here. We need to figure it all out. Uh, with that being said, what we're going to do is delete these guys, delete that guy right there, get ourselves a pump and attach it onto here. Uh, it should be relatively simple to do, so do this. Go ahead and turn it around so it's that way around. And then, yeah, that'll work out fine, I think. Hopefully this is the right thing, actually. Is this steam out? Yes, it is. So that allows it to go backwards from there. But what we'll do is we'll use one of these, and then we'll go from there. Yes, okay, cool. So bring this down from here, bring it straight down if we can. Uh, two, there we go. Then take it inwards and send it in. There we go, excellent. And then from here, we actually... Oh, I've put that on wrong. I've definitely put that on wrong. It needs to go on there like this. There we go, that's actually pretty good. Um, right, okay, we're going to put it there. Then we're going to go ahead and put it here. And, whoa, no, what am I doing? This one needs to go to... Oh, uh, ah, uh, here, I think. <laughs> I'm getting so confused right now, it's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, that's going to go there. We then need to get ourselves a valve, uh, which is going to be one of these ones. And we're going to put that right there. And then, essentially, that needs to connect directly up to this. So all we need is an angled piece. 
Go ahead and attach it to there. Attach it under there. And voila! Now we should be able to use the condensers uh, again. So we need this to connect onto there. That's fine. We need uh, a new one of these. Yeah, we do. We need a new grader then, uh, which is going to go further backwards, but that's fine. So it's going to go back here. Let's go ahead and slap it in there. And we need to attach this together. So this goes to there. Very good. Um, the value to be compared is the boiler pressure of this one. No, of this one. There you go. And then the value to compare to is this. There you go. Now, essentially, I need to do the same thing back there. And then that should work too. Okay, so uh, we're moving back to this one. Let's go ahead and put a new one of these in. There we go, because obviously it needs it. Uh, we don't need this, of course. Um, I kept putting them in and assuming that they were going to work, but it didn't. So that's a problem. Uh, the steam actually comes out of this end? Now I'm confused. What is this? Where? Well, how have I built this machine? What is going on? So the steam comes in here. Yeah, it goes in there. And then it comes out of here, goes through there, goes down, goes past, and then into there. Why is it like that? I have no idea. Then it goes down and around and into here. Okay, so this is weird. I don't know why I've put it here. Um, really? That valve should be somewhere else. It should actually be more closer to here. Uh, so this is in the wrong place. We're going to delete that, delete that, delete this. We're going to put that back in there like that, um, which takes it up there. We then need to figure out how to put the uh, pump in there. Because there's going to be a problem there, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, the steam needs to be re released uh, from this one a little bit sooner. Which is weird. <laughs> which is very weird. So it goes out the top. It goes out the bottom. Okay, I don't know what this was for. There was an extra release valve up here. I don't know what the point of that was. So, uh, right. We're going to go ahead and delete this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and put one of these guys. Uh, oh, no, actually. That's going to go there like... Th th no? <laughs> How do I want this to work? So we need a pump in here, right? One, two. Uh, and I can't do three. So it has to be two. We're going to get a pump. Let's do that real quick. Pump. Yes. Uh, we're going to attach that onto there like that. And we need that side to be out. There we go. So then we're going to bring this around. We're going to bring it around. We're going to bring it down. And around. And into there. Okay, cool. But what we're also going to have to do is attach this to here like this. I might need one of those valves uh, on here, actually. We might need one of those valves. Uh, but anyway, this is going to get deleted here. We're going to put one of these in. There we go, obviously. We're going to go ahead and angle it this way, of course. We then need a valve, like that one up there. So we're going to grab that. We're going to go ahead and put it on here like so. And then we're going to attach it up to there if possible, which it is. It's definitely possible. So grab this, send it down. There we go. We're getting there, guys. We are getting there. This is going to bring it all the way to here. We're going to grab an angled piece, if possible. We're going to send it across like this. It's a bit messy. Honestly, I've built this very, very messily. Uh, but that's okay. So that goes straight onto there. And we've done it. Okay. So this needs to do that valve right there. The B is the value to be compared to this one. And then the A is the value to compare, which is... This one. Okay, so we've actually added the system all the way around. Hopefully that now, now allows all of these condensers to actually be used. Uh, and that'll be pretty good. With that being said, we also actually need to put some system in place uh, for the the, the coolant in to the, the, uh, the boilers. Um, I don't know how we're going to do that though. But yeah, apparently we uh, we can regulate the heat that way. That would be a, a pretty good idea. Anyway, um, we've got everything in that we wanted to put in. We now need to put the whistle in. So we're just going to tap off some steam from like here. I think that'll be okay. We're just going to go ahead and tap it off straight away like this. We're going to have it on a valve like this. There you go. And we should be able to uh, send it around here if we can. I don't know whether putting the steam into a, um, a tank is possible. Uh, to keep like a tank of steam about. I don't know whether that is possible. I, I want to I wanna know whether that's possible or not. I don't think it is. Uh, but that would be very cool. Because then we'd have enough steam for a whistle all the time. But anyway, that can go straight into there. Whenever we want to whistle, we'll get a button and we'll, uh, we'll whistle. Okay, let me uh, figure that out. <laughs> let me figure that out real quick. Uh, button, yes. Toggle button, I guess. Sure, we'll put it right. Uh, I don't know. We'll put it in the roof. There you go. Like this. We'll put it right there. So this is going to be for opening the valve. It's also going to be for opening the whistle itself up here. 
There we go. So we're going to do that. Very nice. Hopefully that will work. Uh, we're going to attach the electricity to there. We now need to attach the electricity to the new pumps that we have. And also the new valves that we have as well. So the valve, the pump. There we go. And that one's already done. Excellent. It all should work. Maybe. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Oh, side note. We actually need to change all of the colors back as well. So let me do that real quick. Uh, go back to the gray. Go. There we go. It looks much nicer in this color. So I'm happy with that. But anyway, let's get inside of here. See if we've got everything sorted. And uh, it'll all be good. But yeah, I do think we need that other system in. Uh, before we actually continue to work on it. But uh, I think we'll be good. Maybe. Okay, so for some reason, the uh, the one all the way on the right... I'm not sure which one this is. I need to label these so badly. But yeah, the one all the way on the right is uh, reaching 9 pretty quickly. However, it reached 9, it let out the steam, and now it's staying at 8.97. Which must mean that the actual uh, thingy is doing its job. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. Alright, that means that the pressure will, will raise up in most of these two. That seems to be working better than that one is. Yeah, okay, good. And the uh, the amount of fluid going through here, it's still very minimal. Like, it's still extremely minimal, but it is working, I think. So, that's all good. It's all getting sent through. Our boilers are not exploding. Also, the steam isn't just getting let out the sides anymore, so that's pretty good too. Um, yeah, it all seems to be working. So, let's go inside and have a little look at the, uh, the condensers real quick. So, this one is not getting anything through it. Okay, and the other condenser is also not getting anything through it. That doesn't make any sense. What about the next bit? Let's have a little look over there. Because it, it should be doing something, right? What is this one doing? So this one isn't getting anything. Oh, yeah, it is. Fluid is going through it. Coolant isn't doing anything. Maybe we need to pump coolant through in order for that to work. But steam in is actually happening. Uh, steam out isn't happening. The steam out, it, it like it's not getting pumped out of there. But I feel like it should be. Weird. Yeah, I feel like the coolant isn't very good. It might need cooling a little bit better. But honestly, uh, I do think we need a pump on the coolant. So that's what I'm going to do real quick right now. Okay, so uh, the best way of doing this then is probably actually moving this out of the way. But honestly, we can't do that because these guys... Ah, it's not amazing. It is not amazing. Um, there's a way of doing it and I don't know what I want to do. I don't know how I want to do it. So we're going to leave it as is for now. I think we do need pumps on those though, so we will probably do that. We also need more pumps on the actual coolant from the firebox uh, so that we can control it that way. But honestly, I think we've done a good job there. Uh, we do need to check if the whistle works, so let me go ahead and uh, see if we can do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okie dokie, so we are running. Everything seems good. Yes, uh, we are moving as well. That's fantastic. Only very slowly. I haven't put this to full, so that's fine. Uh, with that being said... Can the whistle work? The whistle is not currently op not working, question mark? Oh, I think I know why, actually. I think I know why. I don't think I give it electricity. I did not. I didn't give it any electricity. That's a problem. All right, spawn it back in again. Let's do it one more time, and hopefully now it'll work. I also need to label all of these dials, uh, and as one of you guys keeps saying, I need to make sure the dial is uh, min-maxed, if that makes sense. So we're going to have like 0 min, and then maximum 10, and then the dial will work normally. But I was waiting until we actually put the dials in place in order to do that, but you are right. You are right. Okie dokie, here we go. Everybody ready for a whistle? Yeah, nice. Oh, that's sick. That is really, really cool. Very nice. Okay, so uh, all of these are actually at about the right the right uh, pressure, so that's good. They're staying at around 8 this time, which is, is excellent, actually. It's pretty much where you want it. Uh, that means the condensers are actually working. Fantastic. Uh, we do need the condensers to actually cool down the steam, though, because that is definitely a problem at the moment. Uh, and we do kind of want it to go faster than this, because at the minute, it's going pretty slowly, to be honest. We need it to be quicker. Um, we might have a fix for that in the future. We'll see. But uh, for right now, I think I'm actually going to end this video here. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, in the next one, we'll probably add a little bit of detail to this. I might add an actual nameplate, maybe. Uh, and we're going to change the color again. Again. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.